Hi everyone and welcome to Dawlish in South Devon. This weather is not great but it's exactly why I came here today. I really need a bracing fresh air walk and this certainly is going to provide it. I'm going to walk from Dawlish to Dawlish Warren, hopefully along the sea wall. All being well if it's not too dangerous. I can see people doing it so I'm thinking it's going to be okay so I'm going to take you with me. So let's go. The seawall to Dawlish Warren follows the railway line in the direction of Exeter. Oh, sometimes you just need a nice fresh air walk with bracing wind and crashing waves and today is that day. I took the train from Taunton this morning and it came down here much less than an hour, I'd say probably about 40 minutes and this place, Dawlish, is just about 12 miles from Exeter. I'm not sure if I'll take the path to Dawlish Warren the whole way. I'll see how safe it's looking. I might go up onto the road in a bit. Let's see. So look, there's a footbridge there and it takes you up there and that leads you up onto the road, I think. I could have taken this footbridge and gone up onto the main road, but I decided to carry on walking along the sea wall. This South Devon railway and sea wall was designed by the famous Victorian engineer, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. And I've mentioned him in a few of my videos and I'm hoping to go and see another of his projects very soon. But let me just tell you a little bit about the seawall and the railway. In 1844, Isambard Kingdom Brunel was tasked with designing a railway from Exeter to Plymouth. Steam railways were not really suitable because the area was quite hilly. And at the time, atmospheric trains were becoming quite popular and they were pulled by a vacuum. So he used those, but they only ran from 1847 until 1848, as there were lots of technical problems with them. Brunel also designed the sea wall, and the project came to fruition with an army of workers and lots of dynamite. The London to Dawlish journey used to take four days by stagecoach, and now it just took six hours. In February 2014, High winds and rough seas led to part of the sea wall washing away and there was extensive track damage and it took eight weeks to repair that until the line reopened in April. And the sea wall repair has been ongoing and it's very almost complete at a cost of £80 million. Oh, this is such a brilliant bracing walk. I'm absolutely loving it. I really apologise if there's a lot of wind noise on this video. I'll do my best to, to keep it to a minimum. One of the things I absolutely love doing about the channel is getting out and about in my free time. I mean, I'm working this evening, but I've come out here to Dawlish for a walk and before doing the tunnel I would never have done that. I'd have probably stayed at home, done a bit of housework or gone shopping before work but this is just so much nicer. Oh, 
a lovely dog there enjoying its walk on the beach. I've just come down to the beach. There's a cave just around the corner here. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get into it. The sea is going out. Yay. Let's just go around here. Oh, a nice bit of shelter from the wind a second. There we go. Some nice views of the sea from this little cave. I call it a cave. It's kind of a little shelter in the rock. Well, I'm certainly getting the fresh air that I came out for. It's so windy, but it's so fun as well. Really lovely. Just under another bit of rock now. It's just so pretty, I love it. I'm not sure how the sound's going to be in this cave, but it's a lot easier to talk in here than it is out in that wind. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to all those who subscribed recently and indeed all those who subscribed ever. The channel is really growing now and I'm so grateful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the subscribe button and YouTube will tell you when I make new videos from all around the southwest of England. And there will be many more to come over the coming months. And it's totally free as well and there's no forms to fill in. So I'm just going to go back onto the path and continue on to Dawlish Warren. Dawlish Warren is a very popular tourist destination and there's lots of accommodation there throughout the year and particularly in the summer. So just behind me there is the beach and this is the footpath going forward. It's very jittery footage probably because the phone's blowing around everywhere. I'm not even using a selfie stick today, it's just too windy. So you can just see Dawlish Warren coming into view now. I believe this is called Elephant Rock, just judging by the name of that cafe. Don't forget there's also a Facebook group for the channel as well. It's also called Southwest Sundays. Just look up Southwest Sundays on Facebook and request to join and I'll let you in. On the Facebook group you can share your memories of the southwest of England or recommend places for people to go if they come here on holiday or are looking to move here. Really looking forward to coming down here on a summer's day sometime. I think both of my videos of Dawlish have been in the in the winter. So I need to amend that. Well, it's spring now, but still quite wintry conditions. So just coming into view there are the recreation and leisure facilities at Dawlish Warren. There's lots of cafes and shops. And there's also a fairground there as well. So the path so far we've been following has been the Southwest Coast Path and it continues over the bridge here using the acorn markers as a guide and before I started YouTube I made a video along that route going out to Starcross and I'll link to it at the end of here it's, it's very very amateur I never even thought I would end up doing YouTube at that point and it was kind of just like a hobby Facebook video really but I'll link to it anyway you may enjoy it blue sky look at that so just over there is a fun fair. I imagine that would be open soon. And then we've got a little go-kart track. Just walking down this lovely promenade now. And there's a big green recreation area there as well. Perfect for picnics in the summer. And lovely views back 
that's the way it has been. I can kind of see why that's called elephant rock. It does look a bit elephantish, if that's a word. Looking forward to all this being open as well. It's just going to be buzzing down here. It's a really lovely place to come, really lovely atmosphere down here in the summer. It looks like there's some places I think people are out enjoying lunch there. Oh, do you know what? There's an amazing smell of fried onions around here. I think there must be a hot dog place open somewhere around here. Let's go and check it out. But I'm going to go and have lunch at Daisy's Tea Room when I get back to Dawlish. It's a highly recommended on TripAdvisor. I've never been there before, but really looking forward to checking it out for you. So just going down into the little complex here, where all the facilities are and restaurants and toilets down here as well. Everything you need, really. Whoa, it looks really busy over there, doesn't it? big roaring trade over there today. I think there's a big group just arrived here. Well, I'm craving a cheese scone, so I'm gonna head back quickly now over to Dawlish, seek out Daisy's Tea Rooms. And I've heard very good things about their cheese scones and also their afternoon teas. But I think a cheese scone is on the cards for today. I'll see you back there. Well, I'm almost back in Dawlish Town Centre now. Just got to go over these steps here, over the bridge, and back through a park down into Dawlish Town Centre because, as you can see, they're still doing some work on this section of the sea wall. So if you have mobility issues, just be aware that the diversion route that's in operation for the Coast Path at this point is not suitable for wheelchairs or pushchairs or anything like that. It's quite steep and steppy. Well, it's just started to rain, so I'm really looking forward to sitting down in the dry and having this tea scone. I really hope they're still open. Hello, Puskat. Looking out for the black swans, the famous Dorish black swans. If I don't see any to show you in this video, you can have a look at my other Dorish video. And there's some black swans near the end of that one. I love walking up through this area. I think it's called the Lawns. There's loads of places to eat. There's a tea room. Oh gosh, I just kicked a can. There's a tea room across there. And there's also, just across the road, that red building is Gay's Creamery. And apparently they do the most amazing ice cream in there. Oh, sleepy ducks. It's a lovely relaxing walk through the Lawns here. And it's right by the shops as well. There's a better view of Gay's Creamery. I think Daisy's tea room is somewhere across in that row of shops over there. Let's go and have a look. Yay, I can see it. I'm going to head across the grass to it now. See that place with the blue canopy? That's Daisy's tea room. Really looking forward to this. I believe they do tea with proper tea leaves. Well, that was very nice. A nice way to spend some time out of the rain. And I really enjoyed my cheese scone lunch. Really delicious. I can thoroughly recommend Daisy's Tea Rooms. Definitely give it a go. Really lovely. And it's lovely to have the loose leaf tea as well. Oh, I think I might have found some elusive black swans. Just look at this. They're just sitting here. They're not on the water at the moment. Oh, 
Well, I've got about half an hour before my train home, back to work. So uh, I'm just enjoying a nice stroll in the park, really. The rain stopped now. Here we have ducks and daffodils. I'm just heading now back towards the beach. Oh, so tempted to grab myself an ice cream from Gay's Creamery. I think I'm going to do it. It may be winter, but it's never too cold for ice cream. There's absolutely loads of different types of bird, or waterfowl even, on this water. And this very helpful guide shows you what they all are, which is very helpful for me because I don't know my geese from my ducks really. So Gay's Creamery do cream by post and they say they're probably the best ice cream in town and they're open seven days a week. Well, I got one of those ice creams. It's absolutely massive. I've eaten a lot of it already and there's still loads of it left. It's absolutely delicious. Totally recommend Gay's Creamery for your ice cream when you come to Dawlish. I'll just show you the first take of this. It's quite funny. I end up with hair in my mouth and it's absolutely delicious. Mm, I've got hair in my mouth as well. Well, I'm going to go get my train now. <laughs> it's due in a few minutes' time. Thanks so much for watching. Bring you back here on a summer's day one day. Thanks for joining me on my lovely breezy coast path walk along the Dornish Sea Wall. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.